Hey. Hello, human beings on every corner of the planet. Human beings and other animals. Usually there are bears. Today I see a turtle or is it a dinosaur? Can't quite make out. Anyway, welcome humans, animals, uh, other friends, aliens, all creatures to the Daily Antidote of Song brought to you by the good folks at Carpe Diem Arts. Uh, my name is Shruti. I am in cold, cold Delhi right now. It is 2024. It is the first time I'm coming over here in the new year. Happy New Year, everyone. If there's anyone like me who, who has been sleeping for the first seven days of the new year, welcome to 2024. And thank you for being here. Thank you for singing your song. It is so good to see all of y'all. i um, going to say uh, hello to everyone here around the world, around this room. Um, welcome to David and Elise in California. Welcome to Kevin in DC. Welcome to Maria Bishop. Welcome to Arlene in Berkeley, Aloysius in Massachusetts. Welcome Susan in Cincinnati. Welcome Sheila in Florida. Thank you for clarifying that you are human. Uh, good to know. Welcome Clive in Birmingham, the UK. Welcome Cricket in Maryland. Thank you, Carolyn, for the reminder of um, 1,372 days of the daily antidote of song. Carolyn from snowy Boise. It's probably a little colder than, than Delhi, but I'm still feeling the chills all over here, my friends. Welcome to um, Ruth in Birmingham. Welcome to Linda on Orcas Island. Welcome Sue in Seattle and Kathleen in Albuquerque. Welcome Nancy in Washington. Welcome Gracie. Welcome Storm in the Zoomiverse and Deborah in Kentucky. Welcome Annette in California. Welcome Pauline in Newcastle. Welcome Bonnie in Boise. Welcome Julie in Ontario. Welcome Hoda in BC. Welcome Linda in Massachusetts. Welcome Alex coming. Welcome Mabel. And um, do I see a bear? Welcome Bob. Welcome Elizabeth in California and Carolyn in DC. Welcome LMG in Connecticut and Robert Bishop and Sarah in Texas and Gary and Sandy E in Western North Carolina and in Silver Spring. Welcome to Aaron on Tech today. Welcome, Joe, and thank you for doing the Daily Antidote of Song and holding this community and the song circle together for 1,372 days, was it, Carolyn? Um, I think that that's what it was. Um, and thank you for being here. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your uh, breath and song and the light that all of you shine out into the world. And uh, when you make cold and snowy days feel wonderful. Um, Today, we are delighted to have with us from Washington in Vermont. I realize that there's a Washington in many places today. This is an education, my friends. Uh, a wonderful uh, recording artist, song leader, somebody who is here thanks to um, the wonderful Alex Cumming, uh, the Daily Antidotes friendship with, uh, with Alex Cumming and your friendship with Alex Cumming. Welcome, Jen Curtin. Thank you for being uh, here and thank you for sharing your song with us. What are we singing today, Jen? Hi, Shruti. Thanks for all that. I, I got tired just listening to you run down the, the, the length of names here. That's awesome that we have so many people from so many places. Um, so I was trying to think through songs that I knew that had um, choruses and also had, um, to me, at least some sort of uh, social justice link kind of thing. And I, I really like uh, folk songs a lot. And um, so this is one that's always struck me. It's, it's uh, Dougie McLean's Garden Valley. And I'm not 100% sure about the story behind it, but um, he talks about homesickness. And um, in the final verse, talks about the um, the Highland clearances that happened in Scotland, where the uh, tenants were forced off the land so that the landowners could uh, make massive sheep farms. And so it caused um, a, a great uh, depopulating of Scotland and people a lot moved to America and brought their wonderful music with them. So he sort of references this. And the way I was thinking of it is, is in um, terms of immigration and uh, how so many people nowadays associate immigrants with um, people coming from lands that they may not have come from. <laughs> and so it's a good reminder that even those of us with the blindingly white skin um, immigrated from somewhere. We were all immigrants at, at some point. So um, this song of Scottish immigration and homesickness I, I thought would be appropriate. So I'm going to uh, sing the chorus through once. 
and then we'll go right into the song and uh, hopefully I won't have to clear my voice too much it's it's that time of year <laughs> but in the darkness struggle cold I dream about the garden
can I invite everyone to take a big breath <laughs> and some love and some appreciation to Jen. Jen, I cannot tell you how familiar that sounded. We're hearing you for the first time. This is day seven of New Friends uh, Week. I, I think it's part of uh, the, this two weeks of New Friends. Uh, and But it really feels like we've met before. It feels like the song is so familiar. I'm hearing the song for the first time, but th there was, there was, it felt so, it felt like we have an old friendship and, and we've been like singing this across the fire, I think, for like years. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that song. You're welcome. I'm glad. I'm glad it it made you feel the same way that it makes me feel. It's it's definitely um, has been something that I have loved singing for years and years. And uh, he's a wonderful writer. Uh, it's we have so many good modern folk writers, and uh, they they get kind of what it is in in older folk music that that brings it forth and it's it's the um sorry that was snow coming off my roof <laughs> it's the uh emotional part of it that that emotions a thousand years ago still feel like emotions today and so if you write a song that catches those emotions um it doesn't really matter when it was written it's going to have that feeling in your heart Oh, it certainly feels like that. Thank you for that gorgeous song. When when was it that you first encountered this song? Do you have? Um... Oh goodness, uh, probably. I just a little background on me. I I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. My family's been in Nashville since since there wasn't a Nashville, and uh, so we were not particularly into the country music side of it. My my dad was a choir director, and so we. We grew up, there were four kids in the family. We grew up singing a lot together. Uh, we used to take long car trips and we would uh, sing songs, camp songs and folk songs, and we'd have competitive harmonizing going on. And uh, when I was about 12, um, Nashville Public Radio had a, sh a show on about uh, Scottish songs having to do with the Jacobite um, Rebellion. And it was really the first time I'd ever sort of heard Celtic music before. And uh, right after that, I think um, Thistle and Shamrock kind of became a big deal. So we were always listening to that. And so I would guess that probably um, that's where I, I originally ran into Dougie McLean's music um, was through Thistle and Shamrock. Uh, but just lovely. Wow. He writes wonderful stuff. That's amazing. And that com competitive harmonizing sounds like <laughs> that, that sounds absolutely appropriate. That sounds fabulous. Uh, Alex uh, coming. Thank you for um, introducing Jen here. I, I, I wonder if you might want to like say hi or we can we can spotlight you or maybe you want to like share I'm something. Eating, I'm eating lunch while having wonderful music sung to me. I'm very happy. Um, <laughs> hi, Alex. <laughs> hi. Um, I would say one of my Jen. Jen has a such a wonderful way of adapting songs. And I remember the first time I heard you sing, Jen, was in the Christmas Revels in 2019. Um, and you sang one of my completely a cappella, completely solo, after all these like big pieces in Revels. You know, you have all these dancers, extravagant uh, chorus numbers, big bands, and then amazingly performed, just stood out there completely solo and sang the song Poverty Knock, which is a beautiful song and it's the best version I've ever heard of it and just you commanded the stage and from then I was like Jen is amazing yeah <laughs> thank, thank you, you for <laughs> the antidote this is just perfect and thank you Alex for for that oh did someone said which rebels um we are rebels and authors <laughs> when did you first get involved in rebels Jen uh, when I first moved um, from the D.C. area, I used to sing down in um, D.C. with a woman, Brooke Parkhurst, uh, with the group Clish McClaver. Some of you down that area might might remember us from 30 years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. But, the, you know, there was uh, Revels there, but I wasn't involved in, in D.C. So when I moved up and I found out Revels North is like the little baby Revels, um, mm -hmm. we're the creative little, little sibling Revels. And so I got involved the first year I was up there, which would have been 97. 
and I was pregnant at the time. And <laughs> so uh, after that, I had one and then a second child and was working as a nurse and really didn't have much time. So I had like a long hiatus. And then I got reinvolved in about 2012, I think it was. And uh, I've been doing it pretty much every year since 2012. They've been, they've been a few years off. That sounds fabulous. And Alex, we'll let you get back to lunch. Uh, thank you for for sharing those those little nug nuggets. And and Jen, I can totally imagine. I've never been uh, for a, a Revels um, concert, but I can totally imagine you um, taking the stage and, and commanding that moment uh, with your gentleness and your love. And thank you for bringing your music to The Antidote. We, we hope to hear more of you for sure and uh, we'd love to sing um the song with you again if if you would uh... hi doggo what, what, yes. what is two, what is doggo's two name? noisy dogs <laughs> <laughs> wow that's awesome we, we, we love all our uh, furry friends. As, as I said, uh, the Daily Antidote is for, for humans and uh, dogs and bears and cows and, and everyone else that needs to be here. So thank you for, for bringing your song. We'd love to sing this one with you again. I oh, think you want every... me to do it again? Okay. Yes, please. I can okay. do it. Now everybody's warmed up. I'm warmed up. <laughs> yes, okay. <clears throat> sure I don't forget the words. This is really not my home Where you, my lovely Jenny I'm afraid and all alone There is no peace for me at the stranger's table shining in tea like the moon there is no peace for me but in the darkness struggle cold dream about the card I know and I feel 
and some daily antidote love and gratitude to Jen for this beautiful beautiful song Jen thank you so much that was so so stunning thank you I only wish I could have heard everyone singing along but I saw everyone singing it was great (laughs) we're all singing give us a woo if you were if you were singing woo nice give us a woo if you discovered some some interesting harmonies there uh, and if if you don't mind competitive harmonizing with Jen and the crew the next time, Mm-mm. all right, let's let, yeah we can can do some interesting dance moves out there yeah. <laughs> um, thank you, Jen. That was that was magnificent. Um, speaking about interesting dance moves, um, there is um, news on uh, the other side of the pond, not the pond, the other side of the world. There is we have one daily antidote who got. Uh, married in December, and that daily antidote is drum roll, me. So if you feel like wishing me, um, uh, you can stay at at the uh, on after the live stream ends, and and send me some love, uh, and I I will be narcissistic and swallow it all up and and soak in all your love and uh, all your uh, dance moves, which is why I said dance moves. But um, before we we uh, say goodbye to the live stream, let's give another big hug and a uh, big love to uh, Jen Curtin coming in from Washington in Vermont today. And um, thank you everyone for being here. Thanks Kevin in DC, Arlene in Berkeley, Susan in Cincinnati, Julie in Ontario, Carolyn in snowy Boise, Bonnie also in Boise, which I presume is also snowy because yes, um, my logic holds up there. Deborah and Robert, thank you for being here. Ruth in Birmingham, Clive in Birmingham, uh, David and Elsie in California, Linda on Orcas Island, Sue in Seattle, Kathleen in Albuquerque, thank you for being here. Maria Bishop, thank you for being here. Uh, Martha, thank you for being here. Annette, Bob, Mabel, and the Bears, thank you for being here. Alex, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing stories and thank you for connecting us with our wonderful song leader of today. Uh, Melinda, thank you for being here. Sarah, thank you for being here. Bob in Albany, thank you for being here. Pauline in Newcastle, thank you for being here. Linda in Massachusetts, thank you for being here. Delhi, Jane, Texas May, Storm in the Zoomiverse, Hoda in BC, Sheila in North Florida, Gracie in Texas, Cricket in Maryland, thank you for being here. Anne in Silver Spring, Gary in Massachusetts, woo, that is snow there if I'm not mistaken. Woo, thank you. Aloysius also pointing us to a lot of snowy trees. Thank you for being here. James in Victoria, thank you. Elizabeth in California, Carolyn in DC, LMG in Connecticut, Nancy in Washington State, thank you for being here. The Curly Tops, thank you for being here. Sandy E. in Western North Carolina, Cat Cox in Vermont, Marcia, thank you for being here. Jane in Maryland, thank you for being here. Aaron, thank you for holding the green room of Zoom in the Zoom of us. Thank you very much. And Joe, thank you for holding it all together. Um, thank you, live stream. Uh, goodbye. And uh, I'll hand it over to Joe, who has some sneaky 